Hi, so this is my Walt Disney World, the one in Orlando, Florida Hall. Um, I've now been back from my amazing Walt Disney World trip almost a week, and I'm still exhausted. <laughs> uh, this haul video, I'm going to try to keep them in 10 minute parts because I have pretty new to these vlogs or haul videos, or whatever these are called, and I don't really have the best thing, so uploading a video takes my poor little tablet like four hours, and I'm not even joking. <laughs> so I'm going to just do them in little bits. Uh, this part of the haul is going to be stuff that are gifts, meaning I got to get them to people because they're starting to look at me like, you went to Disney World and you didn't come back with one thing. And I did. Uh, it was an amazing trip. I'm going to show you things that I got plus tips as I go along because, believe me, I have a lot of them. So, as you can see, I got my per my nighttime firework hat, which we got the last day. There's the button. And they flash. They're really cute. They're ten bucks, and they're on the cards outside. I brought a ton of glow sticks, as advised in many uh, tips I saw, and half of them didn't work. I'm assuming they the pressure of the airplane, who knows. So the last day we did get these, and I thought they are super cute. We got red and purple, Hannah has purple. Okay, now let's get into it. So I went with my boyfriend, his daughter, and their favorite part by far was Hollywood Studios, if you're old school like me, MGM represent. We had such a hoot there. It was so much fun, but mainly because of the Star Wars ride, it was just over and beyond everyone's favorite. My boyfriend literally rode the Star Wars ride 12 times, uh, eight times in one day. <laughs> and then the other four was with like me and his daughter. So it's not so bad, but awesome ride. It was, it's super cool. And they have all the different variations. So it's almost like you're getting a new ride every time, but so cool. So anyways, as soon as you leave the ride, obviously there's an amazing gift shop, which is probably the smallest gift shop in the sense that it's always packed and you just feel overwhelmed that you don't even like shopping. And they have a lightsaber booth, you can build a lightsaber. They have an R2-D2 booth, you can build that. So that takes up a lot of room. So you just really feel like you're like shoulder to shoulder, but it has like the best stuff. There's also in MGM a second Star Wars uh, gift shop that's empty and it has way more stuff. Uh, I regretted not going back there because I had saw a mug that I wanted that they didn't have at the actual ride gift shop. So yeah, I, it, the other one's way better. So what we did get from Star Wars was this. Now, I have no idea what this is. Oops. But it's a puppet. I do know that. <laughs> And according to my boyfriend, this is in first or second movie, which is like the third or fourth movie, whatever. The Millennium Falcon lands in this thinking it's a cave. And they find out he's alive. And I guess the movie's so long kind of like looks just like this. So this was $14.95. And like I said, he was actually at a few gift shops other than the Star Wars one. As we said that, we couldn't find that, so we had to go back to the Star Wars gift shop to get it. But like I said, he wrote it 12 times, so <laughs> he went back a lot. So this is a gift. Also as a gift is this super cute hat. Oh my god, it was super cute. This was a trip of hats. We bought so many hats. It's hilarious. Look how well done he is. Now, I have no idea who he is because I don't really like Star Wars. But Hannah and George love it. And this hat was woo, twenty nine ninety five. So let's not be shy and call it what it is. It's thirty. And again, we're from Canada, so that really hurts us. It's like forty five dollars. But we saved a long time to go away and spent a lot of money. <laughs> oh, I love this hat, and it's gonna be so perfect for the warmth. <laughs> Super cute, and the horns and everything. Then at the uh, Create Your Own Lightsaber, we got one, and it's super cool. Hannah designed it. 
but I think I've had more fun with it than the, the two people that actually like Star Wars. I love it. I brought it to work the other day to show everyone. Because I was like, isn't this cool? I mean, if it was dark, you'd be like, blown away with my light skills. So. This, I have no idea. They made this without me. And I'm not sure how much he paid. I'm going to say he paid $30 for this. Easily. Probably 30 bucks. And again, those are at both Star Wars stores. And I think at another store, I could be wrong. Now, this is the cutest thing ever. It's a create your own droid. <laughs> I think this is R2-D2. Oh, look at it. They put a top hat on them and a one eye. That's such a cute. And then they give you all these stickers. And then you name him. And you put the sticker here so it's like in the box sealed, your own little droid. Now these are super expensive. I want to say he was $15 and then let's say he was $17 and then if you got two for 30 But they were nice because when we bought one, uh, the lady told George uh, if he came back anytime with the receipt and wanted the second one, he could still get that deal even though it wasn't at the same day. So that's super cool. But I gotta get going here because I'm already at six and a half minutes and I just showed you Star Wars crap. <laughs> um, and then my boyfriend got, like I said, the hat trip. This cool Star Wars hat and looks amazing on him. Apparently this is, he said, Star Wars Yes Man hat. What that means, I don't know. Ooh, there's no price. I'm going to say it was $26.95. Let's see, it's even got a back covering. It looks so good when you wear it. Like, and he's a cook, so it's like perfect because it covers like all his hair. It's even back, so he can like wear it while he's at work. And it looks super good on him, but he's a very attractive man. Oh, last thing we got at the Star Wars gift shop. And I love it too because I don't even think we're allowed to show these for copyright infringements. But it'll just be quick. You can get your picture taken as the other like people. So that's Hannah and George. And these are super expensive. Like this one picture is thirty dollars. And they try to be like, oh, you can get this package, and it's like eighty nine dollars. Like two pictures, two cases, made now. Like I'm not spending ninety dollars. And then this is me and George. I love it. I love his chest hair. Good old Ford's rug. Mm, he's Princess Leia. I think they're cute. And I'm like, I seriously want to frame them nicely and uh, hang them up in our house. And then I'm kind of just going to jump from this to another gift. Uh, we were lucky enough to go when it was the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I'm going to do a whole thing with all the free crap we got because we got a lot. I'm going to make a, a board. So I'm probably going to like save what I got for the board. But yeah. And we dressed up and it was amazing. And we got to meet Jack Skellington and Sally, which was out of this world. But they have like limited release items that they sell at the park during the party that you can only get. I plan on buying uh, pins and this and that. A lot of it was sold out, sadly. Park wide, she told me. So I got this shirt for my nephew. It glows in the dark. And this is Halloween party, and he loves Halloween. I mean, Halloween's come and go, and I should have given it to him on Halloween. But it'll fit him for a while. So, you can just wear it and have a glow in the dark shirt. That's just pretty cool. Well, I'm at nine minutes and I showed all my gifts. So I think I'm going to call that that the haul. Just in the sense that I still have a lot of stuff <laughs> to show. Um, I have, we did a huge pin haul and we were smart. We bought uh, 25 pins on eBay and then traded them and that was probably one of the funnest parts of the trip. I'll get more into that on my pin haul video. Plus I bought pins and I did the Ratatouille at Epcot so I got a Ratatouille pin which was awesome. It's a super fun scavenger hunt. Like I said I'm still just in such a whirlwind. <laughs> I can't believe it's over. It's kind of 
You do so much planning and thinking about one thing, and then it's, I swear to you, it's over. And one day, me and my boyfriend pulled 17 hours, basically all at Magic Kingdom. So we, we gave it. We gave it. And it rained, and it was fine, because we packed our honchos, because ponchos, because they're 10 bucks at Disney World, people, for a plastic bag. Ten dollars. So just pack them. They're super light. You can get them at the dollar store or book or two, whatever you call it, Dollarama. Alrighty, so I'm going to guess there's probably going to be two more videos after this one. There's going to be the pin haul, plus all the other stuff I got. And I'm so excited to do it because it's like therapy. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.